My name is Deb Stanson and I am the director for the Restores for Habitat for Humanity Guelph Wellington. It is very important to us. Um, I, if you're familiar with the Restores, we take in donations, which um, keeps uh, right across Canada about a billion uh, pounds of, uh, out of, the, of garbage out of the uh, landfills. Um, and that helps us build homes, which is which our mission is, um, building affordable homes. So bringing in all that product, um, we also recycle. Uh, we do metal recycling, we do um, e-waste, electronic waste recycling, cardboard, batteries. So all of that contributes to our mission, which is to build affordable homes. Well, we're going to be building here in Guelph. We've uh, purchased property, um, so I think that's a huge impact in being able to provide uh, affordable housing for those in need, um, especially now. I'm sure everybody realizes <laughs> the increased cost of rentals and um, purchasing a home, and uh, that's what we do. And I wake up every day knowing we make a difference. So we're always looking for ways to decrease our waste and our imprint um, and other ways of recycling as much as we possibly can. Um, and again, you know, even in our housing, when we're building our homes, they're all energy efficient. We look for ways for um, keeping our impact on our footprint less and less. Hi, I'm Heather Stewart. I'm an environmental scientist and a partner at Dillon. And my name's Kate McNamara. I'm a transportation planner at Dillon. As an employee-owned firm who's been in operation for over 75 years, we understand that meeting the needs of today without compromising the future is essential for our longevity. For almost 15 years, Dillon has supported communities where we work through our local environment, community, and investment funds. Working with community partners like Stepping Stone, The Seed, and Up and Running, we tailor our volunteering and donations to the specific needs of local organizations. At the start of 2020, we decided to focus on food insecurity in our local communities and launch the Million Meals campaign. In 2022, we reached our goal of one million meals. Dillon has made a significant impact on sustainability in the communities we serve. For example, Dillon contributes more than 1% of our pre-tax profits to society through donations, scholarships, and community initiatives. Dillon also donated over 12,000 staff hours to support community initiatives such as the Guelph Food Bank, Trees for Guelph, and the Coldest Night of the Year. Dillon as a corporation is committed to reducing scope 1, 2, and 3 emissions by 30% by 2030 and achieving net zero emissions without purchasing offset credits by 2050. By providing a place for young professionals to engage and support with their communities, we ensure that when one generation of staff moves on, another will be there to carry on the commitment. My name is Jason Ashdown. I am co-founder and chief sustainability officer of the Skyline Group of Companies. Sustainability is important to us because it's, it's really a part of who we are. We, we've always had a lens on doing things the right way, and it's, uh, it's truly a part of our identity. We've demonstrated outstanding contributions by taking on challenges. Um, we're not afraid of a challenge. We're not uh, afraid of stepping outside of our lane to, to find ways to give back in really meaningful, impactful ways. Moving forward, we will continue to flush out opportunities, knock down barriers, find ways to make sustainability make sense. Uh, we've always had a knack for, for finding synergies between our different groups. We have a clean energy fund, which most real estate investment firms don't have, which gives us a boatload of opportunities. I feel like we're just uh, the tip of the iceberg on that, uh, you know, as far as waste diversion and generating clean energy to have a true circular economy with, within our own group of companies would be awesome. And so there, there's ideas that are floating around that. But really, we just want to influence and want people to want to do business with us and want to work with us and share our role in this shrinking world uh, when it comes to our sustainability practices. I'm Julia Grady, the co-founder and ED of 10C Shared Space. Sustainability is really like the pathway to future. And when at Tennessee we think of sustainability as a lot more around community resilience and all, what are all the ways that we can like work together to kind of get there. And we knit that into Tennessee from um, creating a density of community uses in a, in a shared space to water reclamation and looking at um, our impact on, on the earth as well. Our, I think that Tennessee has demonstrated um, a commitment to sustainability through all of the program we've offer, offered. 
We're a hub for 250 to 300 community groups and organizations and individuals working on social change. And then we work to create kind of community infrastructure that they can um, use and access. And that sometimes is um, space, but it's also extending to programming, um, thought leadership, helping them build sustainability reports, uh, understand some tools and practices that they can actually like measure and monitor their sustainability moving forward. And we're really focused on um, long-term community assets. So things like 10C as a, as a hub, um, but then also the farmer's market, how can it be used to its full effect? And that's a big piece of sustainability is, is really just effectively using the resources that you have now and creating more openings for all, all kinds of community uses um, to unfold within them.